Well, hello lads and ladettes, how are you doing this evening? I hope you are enjoying the manager mode series that we're going through at the moment. As you can see on screen, we are buying or attempting to buy Michael Owen. Going to be a good striker for us as long as I'm able to get him. And we'll see obviously what we've got here. We've got a transfer offer on uh, Lunga, but it's not going to be enough to buy him unfortunately, so we'll be keeping him. Wayne Bridge, as you can see, they, off or they accepted the offer, so we're just purchasing him now. And uh, Michael Owen also accepted, so we're offering him a contract as well. Second game of the season here against Blackpool. Not an easy side, no matter what people say. They got relegated with us, so they're obviously going to have a lot of their good players. Kevin Phillips, obviously, is a very, very good signing for them. Wherever he's been, he's done well. He just doesn't seem to have the... I don't know, he doesn't seem to stay at the team for very long. Let me know what you guys think down in the, in the comments below. Are there any other players like that that just seem... They seem to be really good no matter where they go, but they get traded off really quickly. And as you can see, that was the first chance of the game on 15 minutes, but just over the post. Say so just, it was like he was shooting at a pair of rugby posts, but it was a, it was a shot nonetheless. And once again, Dagoberto continues on his goal scoring run. Brilliant acquisition for us. Here's another one there, showing that he doesn't blast them all the time. The midfielders and Dagoberto hits the post. And unfortunately, the keeper does a nice save there as well. So we should be 2 0 up, but unfortunately, we're not. Dagoberto, yet again, cuts in. And a lovely, lovely finesse shot past the player as well. With White Tiger Studios deciding to log in, just as you're seeing the player there. But I can assure that is. There we go, Dagoberto. Very, very nice goal by him there. Into the second half now. You've got Kevin Phillips here on a run, on his own. Bad defending by me, but very nice finishing by Phillips. He took it on, uh, on the wrong side with his right foot, I believe. We'll just see, obviously, with the replay how he took that. But yeah, guys, obviously the transfer window's over. We're trying to get as many points on the board as possible, and I'm making a triple sub here. Picion, O'Neill, and Lansbury, and we'll see if, obviously, that can, that can pay off. Instantly it pays off because Lansbury scores from the cross. Kind of mini tramp, I suppose, but uh, definitely a nice goal, nicer than a normal tramp. But yeah, guys, let me know how you think the series is going and also continue watching the other series as well. Uh, the pack openings and such do go really well. And Picion also in this game scores a little bit later in the game, obviously, but that was a very good substitution. Two of the substitutes have scored. Gary O'Neill, I believe, has set them up as well, so... Very, very good triple substitution. We're on to the 90th minute now. Four one, very good result for me. They only had one shot, but that was on target. And as you can see, Michael Owen here accepted. <coughs> Sorry about that. And as you can see there. Henry Lansbury is rather annoyed that he's not playing that many games. So we tried to change it around. I brought him on at the start of the next game. We brought on Noble, uh, Noble, sorry. We brought on Owen instead of Dagoberto. Just to change it up a bit, we also brought Picayon on instead of Nolan. Very difficult game against Southampton. They're not exactly an easy team to play and they have got some very good players in their squad. Oh, unfortunately, that was a that was a good shot, but uh, a good save nonetheless as well. Sorry about that, guys. I had to stop the recording there just to cough a load. So hopefully, it's not going to be the same again. Missed uh, obviously the shot there with a nice nice block from there, guys. And uh, from obviously the subsequent corner, we'll see what we can do. What a lovely shot and a lovely goal by David Bentley. I don't believe he's scored for us yet. Correct me if I'm wrong down below, but I don't think he has scored for us yet. So definitely a nice first goal for David Bentley there. Just finds that gap between all those people really, really well. That's what I like about a lot of these players, if I'm honest, guys. A lot of three and four stars. And look at that by Lansbury. He wanted games, he got games, he got goals. I, th I kind of think 
The first tackle was worthy of a foul. As you'll see now, his leg gets kicked out of the way. But he doesn't need it. You have Owen here dancing through and he gets a penalty. I'm not really sure what was wrong with that. I think he just fell over. But he got the penalty nonetheless. And Lansbury goes and takes it. And he scores. So that's two goals for Lansbury in this game already. Just let him celebrate his, uh, his goal here. Obviously not the best goal he'll ever score, I expect. But it's a goal nonetheless and it puts us 3-0 up. Very nice little turn there. And look at that goal by De Santos. That's probably the best goal I've scored in this manager mode so far. And it was good that it was one of my signings as well. Just look at the, the strike there. That was just so crisp. And then you get De Santos again and another strike. Not as good. But still an equally very, very good strike. Does a little circle move around those players. It's all the short passes, guys. I don't skill those, as I've mentioned before, but I do like to short pass, pass and move, pass and move. That's why I get quite a few goals, and that's why my online Ultimate Team record is as good as it is. And that is just a lovely goal by Picayon as well. Took that on the volley, opposite direction. I think that was on his wrong foot as well. It was just a lovely goal to make that 6-0. I thought this was going to be a hard game, but in all fairness, we bossed that game, to be honest, as you can see by the things here. Nought shots, and we had 14. But unfortunately, he was injured. Uh, I'm not sure who that was, sorry, but for three, three weeks, I think that was Nolan. And you get Mark Noble here, who unfortunately says he doesn't want to stay with the club anymore, and we have to sell him. We get a nice offer here for him at 9, at nine million. And Oscar is a player I've gone for for quite a while. We're going in for him at the moment. He's a centre attacking mid, but he's got four star skills. And we put £11 million as the offer on him. Unfortunately, that gets rejected. And as you can see here, he accepts the £11.5 million. So we go and offer him a nice amount of money here. Obviously, there was no game between us. We're still in the transfer window. And now I had a bit of space, which is why this is all together. So next, we go and play Watford. They had Sordell and another guy. I can't see his name. Out injured, so that was quite good for me. They were a very decent team. But they still do have Blackstock and Uelamu. Those two strikers are very, very fast and quite scary to come up against. But I thought with my team very good. I didn't play uh, Oscar just yet because I obviously haven't accepted the contract. Back to our main team, we've brought O'Neill in instead of Dos Santos, I believe. And what a goal from O'Neill. Almost straight away there. 14 minutes into the game, lays on the floor, he's, he's getting his drink, he's had enough of the game. If you shoot that low, chances are you'll score, because the, the keepers just can't get down that well. Nothing else happened in the first half, guys, until obviously the second half here. Mistake by me, lovely bit of skill, but unfortunately he misses a pretty much golden opportunity. You get David Bentley, who doesn't miss when you give him that much space. I think that's the second goal for Bentley. So very, very good. My midfielders are getting an awful lot of goals for me, which is exactly what I wanted of them. That's why I like West Ham on this game. The midfielders do a lot of work for you, score a lot of goals, Nolan and the likes. We got a throw here. As you'll see now, Nolan got another Thunderbolt. So uh, none of the strikers scored in this game, I believe. All midfielders can't complain about that. And there's the end of the game. I believe that's 3-0. Yeah, 3-0, guys. As you can see, we bossed the game there, guys. So much better. Just uh, them overall. So what can you say? Oscar accepts, as you can see. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And until next time, I will catch you later. Bye.